modern era, some candidates have been elected to the American presidency at their very first attempt. Jimmy Carter, Bill Clinton, George W. Bush, Barack Obama and Donald Trump. They all burst onto the scene and swept into the White House. Others have taken two attempts to get there. Richard Nixon and the first George Bush. Ronald Reagan tested the waters in 1968. He ran full on in 1976 before winning in 1980. Joe Biden also won at the third attempt in 2020, 32 years after his first presidential run. But that's nothing. Meet Harold Stassen. Governor Stassen, by his record in Minnesota, has become a man of national importance. At the outbreak of the Second World War, with an approval rating of 91%, Governor Stassen resigned to serve in the US Navy. Navy. Looks like fun. Back on Civvy Street, Stassen made a brief bid for the 1944 Republican presidential nomination. And by 1948, after being a US delegate to the formation of the United Nations, Stassen was considered the Republicans' leading candidate. He took part in the first ever broadcast debate with rival Tom Dewey. Stassen called for the Communist Party to be banned. Why is it that the Communist Party organization has been growing so strong in New York? Good question, but Dewey won the debate and the Republican presidential nomination and then lost to President Harry Truman in November. But Harold Stassen wasn't giving up on his White House dream. Harold Stassen appears at a Republican rally in Detroit. Still in his mid-40s, Stassen tried again in 1952 but couldn't get enough support, ultimately throwing his weight behind the future president. I place before this convention the President of the United States the name of Dwight David Eisenhower. And, in return, Ike gave Harold a cabinet post. Harold E. Stassen takes the oath as mutual security director. Stassen then became a perennial candidate. He ran for president again in 1964, 1968, 1976, 1980 and, with a new toupee, in 1988. That's been one of the problems. Politics as usual. Short-term moves. You need to look at long-term things. At the age of 85 in 1992, Harold Stassen ran his ninth presidential campaign in 48 years. People who stayed active in what they believed in, I think, are those in all of history that had the, the greatest impact. And that was to be Stassen's last White House bid. He also ran, though, again for Governor of Minnesota, the US Senate, twice, Governor of Pennsylvania, also twice, Mayor of Philadelphia and US Representative, and he lost every single election. But he said he ran for another reason. To make this world a little better place. Then, last year, 22 years after his death, Harold Stassen became the subject of a musical. I will be someone that you must remember. Memorable as an example that while persistence doesn't necessarily pay off, that's not always the point. Thank you and good evening to you all.